boom you are watching this video because this is awesome and we're talking about absolute modulus function for VC math methods now this is advanced I must warn you this is advanced that means if you are a newbie do not watch this video switch me off watch something else on YouTube because this is going to twist your mind backwards now if you've seen the other videos of absolute functions, you have the basic idea of exactly what to do, and most of it is just transformations. But in this particular one, I want to show you, I can't think of that much right now, but I can, I can show you one case in which uh, people go, what the hell, what does that mean? So, I'm going to give you the, the, the function, the, the question, and uh, we'll work through it together. So it looks something like this. Now, by the way, Mitchy, this is probably not going to be on your sack because your teacher's so dumb, uh, should I name your... No, I shouldn't probably publicly humiliate... Let's just call your teacher a dumbass for now. I'm not going to name him on YouTube, but he's got some bad reviews on RateMyTeacher.com. Right, so the question is something like this. F of X equals 2. Okay, um... You know what? You, you can either get a function or get a graph. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Let's, let's say you get one of these. You get one of... A W. For victory, obviously, victory with a capital W. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. F of X equals that. Okay. Um, find or draw, sketch, F of... Now, we know how to do this, don't we? Of course we do, because we're smart. Now, what happens when it looks like this, though? Ah, they're the ones that you've got to worry about, okay? So the absolute function inside the f of bracket. So absolute is only around the x, okay? Think about that. That is a totally, totally different case. Totally different case. Totally, it, it's, it's stupid, okay? So normally with this, you go, yes, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> boom, boom. Done. That's it, okay? That, everybody knows that. Even your silly uncle who um, tells all those silly jokes around Christmas he knows that but this one not so many people do why because even most teachers don't know how to figure that out most teachers believe it or not suck donkey balls quote me on that so let's not talk about that let's talk about this let's talk about this fancy situation this Amazing situation. Okay, now think about this. Let's say I'm just going to give you an absolute, totally crazy example. Let's say that the function is something like this. Okay, and this is not that, by the way. I know that's a cubic. That is not a cubic. Don't just people are just going to quote me. Ah, oh, that's not the same function. No shit. Okay, let's say the function was this. Well, what happens to this is that you can have absolutes right here, right here. And right here, right, three absolutes. I told you it was going to be fun. That is not going to be very nice to draw. Mm, not going to be very nice. So there's a different way. There's another way to actually go about this. And let me show you. I know the way. Okay, so let's find some room here. Find some room. All right, so now think about this. F of absolute X. Think about this for a moment, okay. F bracket absoluted X, this, okay, everything about X has to be positive now. Everything has to be positive inside X. So X, what could X be originally? Or well, anything you want it to be. I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. Well, X did, and X wanted to be any number from, let's say, negative infinity all the way to positive infinity, maybe negative 4, negative 3, 1, 2, all those numbers, right? All of them. Now, He's been absoluted. He's been gutted because now he can't be negative. He has to be all positive and stuff. So what could he be? What could it be? Think about this. What could it be? What can he be? Negative infinity? No. His dad won't let him. Can he be negative four? No. Because that sucks. So he has very limited options. Now, think about this. X can be zero. X can be one. Blah, 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 blah. Un until infinity. Yes, I know there are numbers between zero and one. Don't be a smart ass, all right? It, go, it just has to be positive and zero. It can't be negative. What happens? 
What happens when X go, comes home one day and goes, Dad, I'm feeling a little bit down today. I'm not, not so positive today. What does his dad do? He goes, no, I'm going to absolute the fuck out of you and now you're going to be positive. That's what he does. Excuse me for the swearing. I get pretty passionate about this. So if X happens to be negative four, what happens? If X is negative four, it turns into positive four because he's positive. Okay, right? so this is what happens on the graph. Does his dad do anything when he's positive? No, he's like, yeah, he's positive. So let's say the graph is still like this. So X is zero, X is one, all the way up there. So the right hand side is still the same. The right hand side is still the same. X can still be zero, one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. It's only on the negative side that his dad intervenes. On the negative side, what happens when X is negative one? His dad goes, no, he cannot be negative one. Dude, that's crazy. You can't be negative one. You have to be positive one. So negative one instantly changes into positive one. And what happened to positive one? At X equals one, it was down here. So it's gonna be down there when it's at negative one. What if it's at, let's say three. Let's say this X and this F is at three, for example. Well, if X is at negative three, now he's, po he's at positive three because it instantly changes into positive three. So at positive three, it was at zero, so it's, it's gonna be there. Can you see the pattern here? Can you see how this works? So it's gonna be a mirror reflection of the positive side. Whenever this happens, it's gonna be a mirror reflection of the positive side. That is it. It's actually quite simple. I made it sound really advanced, really tough, but it's really simple if you get the logic behind it. If you don't get the logic behind it, you're not going to remember this. And why are you even watching this if you don't get this? Right? Well, I guess to learn it, duh, but shut up. So, everything on the positive reflects into the negative. That's what happens when you get one of these basket cases. Okay. Um, that's pretty much, I don't know, maybe the most advanced case of absolute modulus function that I've seen. Um, if you've seen any more advanced ones, don't ask your teacher, come and ask me. Um, that's pretty much it. So, go ahead, do some homework on this. I'm not even going to set you some homework because that's it. That's all there is. There's nothing to do. Okay, so do some checkpoints. Yes, do checkpoints. Mitchie, do checkpoints. Do you hear me, Mitchell? Do checkpoints. Do checkpoints. Do checkpoints. Do all of them again, 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 again. It's March. Okay, when are you, are you waiting for like November to show up? No, do it now. You want to do it at least 10 times before you even go into May. Or right, maybe seven times. But start doing them today. Over and out.